What's going on, Jerome's? So your Minnesota Fighting Vikings are allegedly one and four, and the four losses have all been by a single score. And in all four of those games, the Vikings have just gave it away, gave it away, gave it away now. And it's such a weird anomaly where the Vikings simply cannot hang on to the football. Whether well, drop passes are certainly an issue. The Vikings had seven drops in the game against the Chiefs, but fumbles were. The first fundament, fundamental rule of football, hang on to the damn football. And, of course, you know, we Vikings fans have been through Adrian Peterson. Uh, How does he fumble when his hands are like that? Anyways, also Dante Culpepper with his fumbling issues. But for whatever reason, the Vikings just love turfing the ball, especially early in the games, uh, completely changing the tone and complexion uh, of the contest. And it's just it's so frustrating. It is. And the Vikings so far this season uh, uh, have – so not not only other fumbling. So bottom tweet, uh, Vikings fumbles. Uh, 2022, they only had 18. Uh, with, and Dalvin and, and Jalen Rager each had four uh, piece. So mm. uh, first five games of 2023, 10. 10. Now, they're not necessarily on the pace for the most fumbles in NFL history, except by the Niners and the Bears like back in the day with 56, but they're on pace for 34. And also, uh, they, they have eight lost fumbles so far this season. The record for lost fumbles was set by the Chicago Cardinals in 1959. We're in danger of breaking records uh, back from before Nam, like in the middle of Korea, man. Come on. Also, what's ridiculous is the Vikings – so they've had very terrible puck luck when it comes to uh, fumble recoveries because, I mean, the ball is oblong shaped. It bounces funny, and sometimes the ball bounces your way. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and before you say, well, the Vikings just got very lucky last year. Eh, not particularly. So uh, Vikings recovered fumbles versus total fumbles last year. So fumbles by the Vikings as well as fumbles by the other teams. How many times did the Vikings fall on the ball? Last year, 20 of 38, 52.6%, which is you know, roughly you know that 50-50 with crystal ball split that you would likely get uh, over a large sample size. And for the Vikings this year, they have recovered four. They have recovered four of 17 fumbles, 23.5%, which is just frustrating. Like uh, also, the fact that the Vikings are not recovering their own fumbles, it's just it, it's just maddening, man. And, and so far this season, the Vikings have been credited for 10 fumbles. Now, two of them were, were on botched exchange, uh, and they're, they're also the only two that the Vikings uh, have recovered. So the Vikings have lost eight fumbles uh, this season on, on offense, and it's just... It's just rough, man. So, uh, first two were against Tampa Bay. Uh, uh, and also, all of these fumbles were when the game was within one score or early in the game, setting the tone. So, Kirk strip sack by Ed Ingram. Boop. Uh, Kirk strip sack by Antoine Winfield Jr. Uh, week two, the Vikings had four fumbles. Brandon Powell fumbled after a nice punt return. Madison uh, fumbled in the first quarter. Jefferson with the pylon extension, uh, leading to a, I don't know, like a 10 point swing. Ugh. Uh, and then Kirk was strip sack uh, late in in the third quarter by Josh Sweat, and then Hawkinson, of course, with that fumble on the very first freaking drive against the Chargers. Uh, it was really bookend by two T.J. Hawkinson turnovers because remember at the end of the game he had both mitts out of that ball uh, in the end zone and got tipped up. And uh, cousin uh, apparently cousins had a botch snap uh, in the second quarter against Carolina that he got credited with, uh, and then Josh Oliver fumbling on the very first play against the Chiefs. And also, this one flew under the radar because the announcers didn't even talk about it, but on the very next offensive play where the Vikings, uh, you know, Madison ran off left tackle for seven yards, the ball was on the ground. <laughs> like, Cousins and Bradbury, something happened there. It was a Bosch exchange. The ball was on the ground. Cousins picked it up uh, and was still able, still able to get the ball to Madison. But could you imagine... Could you imagine the Vikings had two lost fumbles on their first two offensive plays at home? Boo. Just a absolute boo, man. But, uh, again, the Vikings, yeah, it's been just a full-on Greek tragedy, man. And uh, also the fact that the Vikings, all four of the losses have been extremely close. I mean, if the Vikings – uh, <laughs> the Vikings have lost a turnover battle every single game, by the way, uh, including Carolina, it's, it's just – it's so frustrating how close this team is 
from getting some signature wins, but they can't stop beating themselves, man. And ESPN's Bill Barnwell talked about this. Uh, have they been unlucky? With Jefferson's fumble through the end zone against the Eagles as the most memorable example, the Vikings have simply been unable to hold on to the football. They fumbled 10 times in five games. That's not an extraordinary figure as the Jags have fumbled 13 times on 30 fewer plays of offense, but they have felt the full effect of failing to recover most of those fumbles. They've recovered just two of 10 fumbles on offense and four of 17 across offense and defense, which is not, it's not good. It's no bueno, man. Uh, he continues, you probably know already the fumble recovery rates are random, just using a simple formula for recovery rates on respective sides of the ball. The Vikings should have recovered 8.8 of the 17 fumbles in their games. Uh, the 4.8 fumble gap between their actual recovery rate and expected recovery rank ranks last, last. Uh, you can decide whether you want to describe it as worst or unluckiest. Either way, one way to resolve the problem is to stop fumbling on the offensive side of the ball. And he's got a fair point, man. And what what is going on? Where I, I feel like I, I feel like the Vikings full on have the yips, like full on Chuck Nablock, where he can't he couldn't throw the ball to first base. I feel like the Vikings might be in their own heads a little bit. Where I mean, the, these guys have played since Pee Wee football, and rule number one is hang on to the football, ball security. Do not give the other team the rock. That's it, man. And Ever since week one, I feel like this team, it's been it's been in the back of their mind. And in practice, you know, maybe coaching staff is like, hey, do not turn over the football. And, you know, Kevin O'Connell coming out and talking tough. Oh, if they turn over the football, they're going to get benched. Baloney. You're you, you going to bench Hawkinson in his contract. You're going to bench Madison. You're going to bench Kirk. You're going to bench JJ. No, it's all, it's all huff and puff. But, uh, again, I feel like, I mean, when Josh Oliver caught that ball uh, on the first play of the game, do you think in an honest moment that he was thinking about not fumbling because uh, of what has happened throughout the season? And that's not good. I mean, if you think about fumbling, chances are you're going to fumble, right? Or you're just overcompensating or you're, you're being too safe and too secure. That's when you make mistakes. It's like, it's like when you're walking a tightrope, as all of us tend to do. And the first thing they tell you is don't look down. And I feel like that's what the Vikings are doing. They're looking down, and, and they're just, like, trying not to fumble. That's when they fumble. And it's a mental thing right now, man. But they get the short up. You know, l like I said, the offense is good to go. The, the you know, We'll see what happens with J.J. Defensively, they can be opportunistic, but, it, 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 I, again, it, it's so frustrating. So you lost two fumbles against Tampa Bay. Uh, you, you lost four against Philly. Uh, you lost one against the Chargers, and you lost one against Kansas City. Do you think that that might have made a difference in those four losses, uh, where you're basically giving the other team an extra possession, usually in good field position too? It's tough, man. It's tough. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, what the hell is going on with the Vikings fumbling issues? Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production.